Which I usually get one mil, but I don't always like, use the full mil. So I think last time it was like 0 0.7. Uh, and I just kind of want more volume in the top lip. And then just because I have a scar on, I don't know if you can see, I have a scar there. I just kind of like to even them out. Common complications, bruising. One in three people bruise. You know me, I'm unapologetic about it. Yeah, I bruised last time, I think. So, um, yeah, I think as a complication, as long as it's not severe bruising, bruising is quite difficult, quite easy to manage. You're mainly uh, looking at using cover up, concealer, foundation, and a uh, darker shade of lipstick if you need to. You may get swelling. How were you with swelling last time? I really, it was really bad last time. Okay. So I looked like a Brad's doll, but I was kind of liking it. <laughs> I was like, just for one day, I'll actually enjoy it. If well, it... Yeah, you, you may, a few people say to me that they, uh, they, they like their lips the best when they were a little bit swollen because you get that puffiness yeah. and quite a, a pillowy effect. If you've had swelling before, you're likely to get swelling again. So that's, that's uh, Sunday tomorrow, so I'm not. Usually goes after 24 hours, so I'm good. Just look after your water balance because, yeah, avoid alcohol, tea, coffee, diet coke. Sometimes that can uh, affect things. Yeah. So, uh, so as far as today goes, I'm not allowed to exercise. So oh, easy. hell, I've been mad after that. <laughs> um, so I'm not allowed to exercise. Um, I forget what else. So, yeah, um, no exercising, no touching your lips, please. That's really important for infection purposes. Leave your alone the more you leave them alone the quicker they will recover we hope um, I want you to um, avoid anything that, that kind of dehydrates you so avoid alcohol for instance um, I want you just to be vigilant to those signs of vascular occlusion that I've described to you in the past so now you've got a little bit of makeup on so I literally can't feel my lips immediately hydrating. I think it's uh, very well tolerated by, by uh, most, most of my patients and it just gives me a nice silky platform to make sure that everything's nice and smooth. So we've had a good feel around. You've, you've felt your lips with your tongue. You're happy that everything's nice and smooth. Mm -hmm. That's good. Top lip as well. It's still a bit numb. But <laughs> I feel smooth. Yeah. Exactly. Great. So um, as I explained, Result-wise, I think we've you have some great lips to begin with and we've just uplifted a little bit by giving you that great def definition there on the bottom lip. Top lip, if you open your mouth a little bit, some more lateral volume but keeping a nice smooth inner lip line, soft M on your cupid bow and um, giving you nice hydrated and um, great textured lips as well. Mm. I think. 
Hey guys, so basically what I wanted to do is just kind of quickly jump on here after the video where you saw the live demo um, and just answer a couple of questions because I know I've asked you guys on Instagram as well kind of like things that you wanted to know so it's kind of like a frequently asked questions kind of thing um, I wanted to know what is it actually that is getting injected into your lips so for me it was I think the first time me and Nofi used Restylane I think that's how you say it, Restylane. And then the second times after that, I'm pretty sure I've gotten Juvederm. So this time I'm pretty sure it was Juvederm. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much what that is. Like all the complications or anything like that, uh, it will be explained to you. The very first time I went to see Nofi, like she sat me down for a good half an hour and just literally took me through every single thing that could possibly go wrong, which you think could probably have like put me off, but it didn't. Um, but I'm really glad that she did because like that genuinely meant to me that, you know, she cares and that she just, you know, really, you know, gives a crap about my face. And like, that's really important to me. I just felt like, you know, she genuinely cared, so that's part of the reason that I always go to her. I travel like two and a half hours to get to her, but it's worth it every single time because I know I'm in good hands, I feel confident, I know that she knows what she's doing. Um, so, you know, that's again really important to me um, when having someone touch my face. <laughs> so, some other questions were about the pain as well. So, as far as the pain goes, really you get numbing cream on as you can see in the video so i had the numbing cream on and i literally didn't feel any pain the only thing i would say you feel more like discomfort rather than pain because obviously you know you're not used to get, like having needles stuck in your face um so i would kind of like describe that as like mild discomfort if anything um, you don't feel the pain but you can feel the needles going in so i don't think if you've ever experienced that before you would know uh, what that feels like so it's kind of hard to explain or that I don't actually feel like any Kind of difference to be honest. I mean, I don't feel any like lumps or bumps or you know any kind of hardness. They don't feel different in that sense um, The other questions were sort of about Like the downtime. So I usually just try not to take any painkillers or any like medicine that like thin out the blood because obviously then it's, you're like more prone to bruising. On the day when you get the treatment, try not to touch your lips. I think Nofi mentioned that as well. Uh, I try to just not touch them at all. I usually will try and schedule my appointment in the afternoon so that I can kind of go to bed as soon as possible and <laughs> just I don't have to worry about kind of like not thinking and touching my lips by accident. Um, so that's that. It's a, kind of like a big difference from what my lips used to be, to be honest. I used to just not have any top lip. I mean, if you go on my Instagram and you can scroll back, like way back, my pictures, you can see that my top lip was like really small. Uh, but the reason I wanted to get them done in the first place is, you know, because I kind of have a scar. Let's go up on this side. Um, and this side was kind of like almost slightly bigger than that side and it wasn't like visible or anything like major uh, it didn't look deformed but um, it's just something I just wanted to do you know for myself uh, which kind of brings me to another point this video is in no way shape or form you know promoting plastic surgery or anything like that you know I'm a grown-ass woman I can do what I want um, this video is not you know to encourage it it's mainly for adults who you know are considering the procedure, who want to get it done and doing their homework, doing their research as they should. Um, and yeah, just to kind of give a bit of like my experience, uh, a bit more information if you are considering. So yeah, thanks guys for tuning in. I hope this was somewhat helpful. Uh, maybe you've learned something. I'm gonna leave Nofi's details in the description. I'll probably put them somewhere in here. Um, if you have any questions, you know, she is brilliant, go ahead and ask her the questions. Uh, I'm sure she's going to get back to you and answer them all. Uh, yeah, so I hope this was helpful and I'll see you next time.